pass was too low. Got to go higher with the 7-4 guy. Giddy fake pass, then gives it up for Holmgren. Just in a remarkable drought here, shooting the basketball. Giddy right up there to Usman Jang for the alley-oop. And that's just one off the playground. You don't, you don't really. Usman Jang, the 20-year-old. Look at that, one-handed right up in the perfect spot. Yeah, if there's any guy that can make that play, it's that guy right there. <laughs> I mean, very few guys can control. And another anticipation, another deflection, and a steal. Giddy behind the back, just floats it the other end. SGA dumps it off. J Dub looking for space and finally finds it in the crease to lay it up and in. Wow, what, what a tough finish. Sure on Utah or on Minnesota on both ends. Look at that nifty pass. Josh Giddy knew where his teammates were. And they were able to take advantage. One and Paul George punched it away from Holmgren. There's SGA and behind the back pass from Josh Giddy, and he finishes it off. Right on the release, and it was wide left from Alvarado. Giddy slings it underneath. What a pass! And the finish, Kenrich Williams on the reverse. And so with a buck 41 left to go in the third, as you see that dime from Giddy. At the rim. On a big that's in the air. Oh, this assist here. Oh, my goodness. Keep in mind, folks, second youngest team in association, and they do a lot of that on those set pieces. Set up beautifully, shoot the bat or pass the basketball. For Shea, that's almost when he gets even more dangerous. J Dub, nifty pass, Giddy sets him up. It's weird. Giddy in all kinds of congestion finds the cut. There is J Dub on the reverse and the pretty finish. A cat quick hoop for Jaden. But a quick counter. Throw that ball up straight. <laughs> As Giddy fires it to the outside. First shot of the game. Chad Holmgren spots up and nails the three. Thank goodness because look at this. This is all in the flow. Look at all that shirts. Dark color shirts that Giddy was able to collapse in that paint. Still an excellent player to compliment Trey Young. He's coming into the game pretty hot here. The last three games added over 28 points. <laughs> about that back shot attempts and it leads to that on the other end trying to make this Sacramento team better defensively that time the Thunder sneak on the back door J-Dub nice find from Giddy Thunder trying to settle in on the offensive end that's one way you can do it Josh Giddy the precision passing Holmgren, J-Dub back out on the floor, and immediately Giddy finds him on that mini cut. That three puts a lot of pressure on the Thunder coming up on two minutes. Giddy, hard charging, dumps it off. There is Holmgren as Holmgren scoops it in. Is a small team, and they have struggled mightily on the defensive boards. Good pass, good finish. Giddy set him up beautifully. Williams with the dunk. Effort. And then Giddy, just an outstanding pass. Vassell's got 11 here in this first half. Giddy sets up Dort. A breakdown for the Spurs defensively. And an easy layup. Got to find your man. Cut off his cut to the basket. And that one knocked away. Jalen Williams on the leak out. Joe and Holmgren, the most dangerous ones. Giddy looking, looking. Holmgren's got it. Turns, fires. He hit it! He was on the line, though, I think. He might have been on the line. We got age analytics. I'm going to give you a stat here. 22.7. That's the average age of the Oklahoma City Thunder over the last four seasons. That's by far the youngest average age. He leads the NBA in free throw attempts a game at over 11. Man, how about OKC? Chad Holmgren going vertical. And a beautiful alley-oop. Rim. Now, young, young people, don't try this at home. Just watch, watch Mr. Chet Holmes here. Do I go out and try to guard this kid? And a rejection on the defensive end. The Thunder trying to create numbers here. Giddy galloping ahead. Holmgren and two more as he finishes off the fast break. Fourth, Chet Holmgren doing a little bit of everything. How about this shot block, transition opportunity. Thunder did a good job of keeping the 76ers out of the transition zone tonight. Giddy splits a double team. Looking for an open man. Finds Dort. Catch fire three. That is good. And so Lou Dort, he's got five quick points. 
you never play defense by yourself at all. You can sometimes cut to the basket by yourself. How about this? This is... And you know what? It, it, there's so many variations of that. Still fresh in your mind. Oh, good poke away that time. And once again, showing that good defense. And there's another beautiful pass. This time, Kenridge Williams off the feed from Giddy to track down Houston and ultimately get out in front. Well, it's going to start on the defensive end. It's a nice little cut to the basket. Excellent pass. Well, Michael, if you're OKC, you got 24 points. How do you spark the offense? Well, you know, just continue to score the basketball, which you have no problem. Set pieces. Look at that laser pass by Josh Giddy over to Aaron Wiggins. Thompson planks the three. He's now three for five. Kenrich Williams on the cut, and he got behind everybody. Nice find, Josh Giddy. The Thunder get out on the break. I heard Nick and Paris talk about it. They rebound the basketball. They, they, they're one of those teams that, that uh, will punish you on the second chance. We're talking about this set piece. Look at this, folks. How many times? I'm talking ground ball. You know. The kick out to an open shooter. Chet Holmgren knocks it down. He's been 37% from deep on the season. It just keeps happening over and over again. Now, that doesn't keep happening over a little, what, 180? Back to the ball game, folks. There's another beautiful pass. Josh Giddy freshly inserted into the game. Another backdoor cut. This time it's Casey Wallace. Nuggets sputtered a little bit when he was out. He missed a bunch of games with a hamstring injury. Nice find. Inside, there is Jalen Williams off the pass. And a quick one there from Giddy. Gordon. How about this here? Giddy vision again here, folks. Just a laser pass. It's fun to watch, folks. They do so much. Holmgren again had ideas, and now we got it back on the other side. This time it's Giddy. Holmgren once again right down Main Street for the jam. Soda team that played such good defense against OKC, particularly in the second half against Minneapolis. Into a zone, and there is Dort off another beautiful pass and feed. Pulls it back out. Fought about the three instead. Finds a drive from Lou Dort. It up with some levitation. Start your New Year's right here. A lot of fun things around Paycom Center here in downtown Oklahoma City. Getting out on the fast break. That is a really hard shot. Giddy goes behind his back. It's another three on one. SGA had the step on Finney Smith. And the lead grows up to double digits. Well, it's Mozingas missed time to follow. Two on one. Giddy dumps it off. Shays the Jam. This is what I'm talking about. Get the ball quickly, move the ball up the floor. The Celtics are just too good when they set up their defense. Came in as proven players. Porzingis playing for his fourth team. Nice cut. Wiggins, beautifully done, beautifully conceived. A different game when those guys, because those guys can dominate the game. Bogdanovich, you know, he's kind of like one of those guys who's, you know, a man of the moment. And if the Thunder are going to try to cut down on this deficit, they're going to do the little things. And the little things I got is turning the ball over and protecting the defensive glass. Oh, nice pass up ahead. Jalen Williams at Kuzma miss. Giddy surveys, nice cut, backside, beautifully done. Josh Giddy finds Lou Dort. Thunder have come out with a, a vengeance here. This is Thunder basketball right here, just, you know, in, in transition. You know, taking those easy points while they take their easy points, too. And that can happen because you can get really affectionate with the offense and forget about the defense. Got to be balanced as Holmgren off the bounce pass from Josh Giddy, and then he soars up for the jam. He's seen some really pretty passing from Josh Giddy in the first quarter. Well, and you got everybody. The miss rotations. If you come back and make a three, the perfect world for Jalen Williams. Don't let him get started. That ends the Wizards' 8-0 run with authority. And it's Giddy defended by Grant. He shut off on the baseline. Nowhere to go with it, but there is J-Dub, who slipped right around Simons and J-Dub with a dunk for himself. That is just incredible. Travel itinerary following your favorite NBA team once again. Chet, little home run pass right in stride. He might have taken a shot. It was Giddy. Look at that. 80 feet up the floor in stride. Trying to protect the basketball and also limited Dan Carroll. Nice pass. Giddy found the cut right across the baseline. And Lou Dort, all, all he had to do was catch it. Timeouts are very limited. 
What a bounce pass. Right across the baseline, setting up Lou Dort, who cans that three. Then the three from Dort, but how pretty that pass is from Giddy. And you have to remember that ball cannot touch the baseline. AD, that triple double boy, he took so much of the burden on his shoulders. Didn't play well, really didn't, but did get that triple double. Didn't shoot well, shall I say. And they lay it up and they lay it in. Fenton's don't like it, but that's definitely the right call. Beautiful looking stroke, and Dort has it working for him in this first half. He's got nine. Harden against Joe. Holmgren got a piece. Off the floor to Giddy. They don't have numbers. Joe spots up corner pocket. Bang! <laughs> How about that? Gather it and then Giddy pushing it there. Getting Joe there. Nice crisp pass from Fontecchio inside marketing. Fell just short on that shot at the rim. Inside running, and the reward is an easy bucket for Holmgren. Here's Sexton on his hip, runs into another defensive player in Fontecchio. Giddy from the outside. They try the other corner. Nice rebound. Offensive rebound by Casey Wallace. The shovel pass and the throwdown. Affected that shot. Gonna try to create numbers. Giddy floats it, and J Dub able to put it down. That's just a terrific. Protection of the rim. On Jada. How about that? I mean, just staying vertical. And you have to do that against Anthony Everett. He's so powerful. And you just continue to play on. Phillips brings Aiden and Simons back in. They've been on the bench for the majority of this game after that quick start by OKC. What a pass. Josh Giddy. Another cut. It's Wiggins right across the baseline. Vice versa. The Blazers not going around, not going anywhere. Even after that double-digit lead, nice pass. Boy, Giddy's had a couple of beauties on the night. That time he put it perfectly right there for Chad Holmes. You get a couple of stops, and these are rhythm plays right here, partner. You was just talking about that. Nice little down and dropped over. And they have Wimbanyama featured in the middle. We can cover a lot of space. How about that nice little cut? And set piece. The Thunder have been just stellar at. Capitalizes on that offensive rebound. Knocks down the two free throws. Still a ways to go in this game. What a backdoor cut, what a pass, and what a finish. That shot did not look right on the release, and it was wide left from Alvarado. Giddy slings it underneath. What a pass. And the finish, Kenrich Williams on the reverse. And so with a buck 41 left to go in the third, as you see that dime from Giddy. For the Lions since 1993. Uh, first playoff appearance since 2016 as the Thunder to get the quarter started right as they did that first quarter, Casey Wallace. It always seems, Michael, like January is, is the biggest hill to climb in the NBA. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to load up a lot of games in that month. We talk a lot about all the games that the Thunder have and have racked up. That shot drops in. As the physicality continues. The cut, Jay Will, left hand layup, what a five. Getty fired it down low. Watson's three rims out. And this is where the Thunder want to continue to push the pace on this game. How about this, man? My goodness, come on. We talked about speeding this game up. Look at it. This. this is a transition play here, folks. Look at this, man. Did he throw that underhand? Young players do not do this at home. He he nutmegged it, too. How did he? Miller, the leading scorer for the Hornets. He's just got some smoothness to his game. There's another cut. And Giddy's got another assist. Put an extra man in defense. Backdoor cut. Wiggins off the pass from Giddy. And we are tied at 110 on a beautiful out of bounds play. They even drop Barrett back into coverage, leaving Giddy wide open. And somehow it's Wiggins. Incredibly blessed he is being from Oklahoma to be able to be a part of this organization, to be the first guy to play at every single level of basketball. We're on TNT, final game before the All-Star break. Nice pass, Josh Giddy putting it up for Olivier Saar. Speaking of two-way players. SGA's got all kinds of space and takes advantage of that space as Fox nowhere to be seen on that closeout. One thing you can do as a big guy, you can never try to do a crossover against a little guy. Giddy, well, that's a good pass right there. Down it goes.